Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Hashem, Hamashiach, Omlaki Yahushai, right? And this video is going to be titled, He That Turneth Away His Ear From Hearing the Law. Right? What happens to those who turn their ear from hearing the law of the Heavenly Father, the Most High God, Yahweh, right? I'm going to start off with the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, and verse, uh, Proverbs 28 and verse 9. It says, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination, right? So those who turn their ear from hearing the law of the Most High God, who don't want to keep the law, statute, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, he said, even their prayer shall be an abomination, right? So when they pray, it's an abomination. The Most High God, he doesn't deal with abominations. He's not hearing your prayers, right? If you're not keeping these law, statute, and commandments, the Most High God is not hearing you, right? Because the Most High God, he does not deal with sinners, right? <clears throat> so we have to keep these laws, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father if we want to be heard, if we want our prayers to be heard and answered by the Most High God, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, right? Let me get the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 13, and it reads, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, right? So whoever it be that despises the word of the Heavenly Father shall be destroyed, right? Whoever d despises the words, these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father shall be destroyed, right? Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, right? And that's why we see a lot of our people getting destroyed, getting killed, getting hurt, you know, um, whatever the case may be, because the Most High God is bringing judgment upon them. Why? Because they despise the word of the Heavenly Father, right? They rather walk in the ways of, of, of this world. Right? They rather walk after their own lust and after their imagination of their own hearts. Right? They want to be wise in their own eyes instead of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Right? Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Right? But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Right? So you keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, and you fear the judgment that shall come upon you for not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. The Most High God said, ye shall be rewarded. Right? Because ultimately, by keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, we get to the kingdom of heaven. Right? By not keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments, that brings forth judgment. Right? Because um, 1 John 3 and 4, right? Let me just get it real quick. Right? Because sin is transgression of the law. Right? 1 John 3 and 4. Sin is transgression of the law. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. But whosoever committed sin, they break the they they transgress it also also the law. Meaning what? They break the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of the law. Right. So whoso despises the word, right, shall be destroyed. But he that fears the commandment shall be rewarded. Right. So if you're not keeping these commandments, you're in sin. Right. You despising the word, you're in sin. You're contrary to what the Most High God is telling us to do. Meaning what? You will be destroyed and you will not make it to the kingdom. You're not keeping the word. You're not keeping these law statute commandments. Because then that, therefore, that you're in sin. Right? So like it real quick. So like it real quick. Let's go back to the book of first John real quick. Right? First John uh, 1 and 8 says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was made manif was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Right? So whoever committed sin, who's ever going contrary to the law, statute, and commandments, right? He says, Ye are, ye are, um, he is of the devil, right? That person is of the devil, he's not keeping these law, statute, and commandments, because that's contrary to what the Most High God told us to do. He said, he that feareth and keepeth the commandment shall be rewarded, right? If you're not keeping the commandments, then that means that yeah, you're in sin because sin is transgression of the law, right? Let me get the book of John. Lucky. John 8 and 44. It says, Ye are of the father, the devil, and the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. Right? And the truth is what? Psalms 119, 142. 
right? I'm gonna pull it real quick, right? Because the truth is what? Let's get the truth. Psalms 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So the law is the truth. And what did he say in John 8 and 44? Ye are of the father of the devil. So like ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. For he was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. He didn't abide in the law. He didn't keep the law, statute, commandment. Right? So if you're not keeping the law, statute, commandment, you are of the devil. Right? Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And Proverbs 16 and 16, the most high God hates liars, right? You can go to book Proverbs 16 and 16, right? And reads. So like your Proverbs 6 and 16, so like your book of Proverbs 6 and 16, and it reads what? These six things do what the Lord hate. Yeah, even seven are abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, right? So the most guy, most high God hates liars, right? But getting back to what I was going on, right? In the book of um, Proverbs 13, 13, again, whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded, right? So if you keep the commandment, you shall be rewarded, right? And we're going to get what that reward is in a minute. Get Proverbs 14 and 1. Let me 14 and 2. He that walketh in uprightness feareth the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him, right? So he that walketh in uprightness feareth the Lord. Because the person who fears the Lord, he's going to walk in these law statutes and commandments. He's going to walk upright, right, in righteousness. Deuteronomy 6 and 25, right? I'm going to pull that. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. And it reads, right? Because what is righteousness? And it reads, and it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. So it's our righteousness if we do the laws that you commandments as the Most High God has commanded us. Right? Proverbs 14 and 2 again. He that walketh upright, he that walketh in uprightness fears the Lord. Right? But he that is perverse in his ways, he that is crooked in his ways, despiseth him. Right? And those who despise the Lord shall be destroyed. Right? Like we just read in Proverbs 13 and 13, right? Get the book of Proverbs 21 and verse 16. And it reads, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall be, shall like it shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So the man that wandereth out the way of understanding shall remain in the con congregation of the dead, right? How do you get understanding? By fearing the Lord, by departing from evil, right? But well, we're going to get it in the book of Psalms. Right, because through the precepts we get understanding as well. Right? Get the book of Psalms 119 and one, 119 and 104. So like it. Book of Psalms 119 and 104, and it reads, Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So through the precepts, by keeping the lost statutes and commandments, we get the understanding. Right? Therefore, we hate every false way. Right? So I read it again in Proverbs 21 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right? So, like it real quick. I mean, I'm trying to get this one specific precept. So, like it. Let me pull it real quick. Real quick, right? Because how else do we get understanding? So, like a Job twenty eight and twenty eight. That's what I wanted. Go to the book of Job twenty eight and twenty eight, and it reads. Like it real quick. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Job chapter 28 and 28. And it reads, And unto and man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord 
that is wisdom. So to fear the Lord, you get wisdom, right? And to depart from evil is understanding. So when we depart from evil, right, by keeping the law, statutes, commandments, we get the understanding, right? But the man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, right? Get the book of Psalms 49 and verse 20. It says he shall remain in the congregation of the dead, right? The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Psalms 49 and 20. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perisheth, right? So a man that is honored, but he, he understands not, right? He has no understanding. It say it's like the beast that perish, right? It's like the beast, beast that, that, that pass away, right? Let's get the book of um, 1 Samuel. Book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, and verse 30. First Samuel chapter two, and verse thirty. Lot here, and it reads, "Wherefore the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed, that thy house and the house of thy father shall walk before me forever. Right, because our forefathers and us we're supposed to walk before the Most High God forever, keeping the laws, statutes, commandments, right, and keeping the faith and faith in Yahweh Shemashiach, right. But now the Lord said, Be it far from me." Right, so now the Lord said, let that be far from me, right? He said, be it far from, from me, them that honor me, I will honor. So those who honor the Most High God, he will honor. Those who keep the law, statute, commandments, the Most High God will honor them, right? He says, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. And those who despise the Most High God, who despise the word of the Lord, shall be destroyed, right? Let's get the book of um, Sirach. Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Sirach chapter 30, 34, <clears throat> and verse, sorry, 34 and verse 8. It says, The law shall be found perfect without lies, and wisdom is perfection to the faithful mouth. So the law, so like it, the law shall be found perfect without lies, right? Because the law is perfect, right? It converts your soul. Right, when you go to the book of Psalms, back to the Psalms, verse, uh, chapter 19 and verse 7, it reads, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. See, so the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. The testimony of the Most High God is sure. Making wise the simple, right? He make, make, makes the uh, wise the simple, meaning what? He makes the foolish wise by keeping his laws, statutes, commandments, right? Because they'd be converted through the law, right? Let's get the book of um get the book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah chapter five. Book of Isaiah chapter five and verse twenty um four. And it reads, therefore, as the fire devoureth stubble, right? Because fire, the fire, uh, it devours stubble, right? When you throw stubble into fire, it burns it up. It says, therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, the flame consumeth the chaff, so the root shall be rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust. Because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel, right? So he said, therefore... As the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be rottenness. Right? So your root is going to be rottenness. Right? Because you have cast away the laws of the Heavenly Father. Meaning what? You're not rooted and grounded in the Most High God in Yahweh Shai. Right? So meaning what? You're going to wither away. Right? You're going to burn up as, as, as the stubble and the fire. Right? It says, therefore, in verse 25, Isaiah 5 and 25, therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he hath stretched forth his hand against them, and hath smitten them. And the hills did tremble, and the carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Right? So the most high God's hand is stretched out still. So those who are not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you will be destroyed if you don't come back to the word of the Heavenly Father right? and walk in this truth. 
right? Walking these laws, statutes, and commandments, right? The Most High God ain't dealing with that, right? Right? Because that's an evil thing to walk contrary to the Heavenly Father, right? To not keep the law, statutes, and commandments. The Most High God, he, he, he doesn't deal with unrighteousness, right? Same chapter, Isaiah 5 and 15, 5 and 20, Salakia. It reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, right? Because they they say keeping the laws is an evil thing, right? But walking contrary to the laws to walk in the world, they call that good. It says what? That put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put they put darkness for light and light for darkness, right? And what is the light? Proverbs 6 and 23, right? They put off the light, right? And they walk in darkness, Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. And the reproofs of instruction are the way of light, right? So for the commandment, the commandment is a lamp and the law is light, right? So they put that off and they rather walk in darkness, right? That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, right? So those people are going to be destroyed, right? Because they, they want to go contrary to the Lord, right? Verse 21, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, right? Because they, they believe that they're wise in their own eyes, right? A prudent, like an imprudent in their own sight, right? So they're walking contrary to the Heavenly Father, not knowing that they're despising the, the law and the word of the Lord, and they will be destroyed according to the scripture, right? Back to the book of Proverbs uh, 13. And I'm going to get... Let me see if I want that in 13 or 28. So lock it real quick. Proverbs uh, 28 and verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. So those who forsake the laws of the Heavenly Father, they praise the wicked. They praise Satan. They praise the devil, right? Because they're walking contrary to the Lord, right? So they that forsake the law praise the wicked. But such as keep the law, contend with them. Right, I'm gonna drop down to verse um, seven, Proverbs twenty-eight and seven. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, right? So whoso keepeth the, the law is a wise son, right? But he that is, it's like it, but he that is a companion of, of riotous men, shameth his father, right? So those who who, who are walking contrary to the scripture, like it says, they're gonna be destroyed, right? You know they they're ashamed to it to the heavenly Father because they're not they're not doing what he said say do, right? Proverbs twenty eight and nine. Again, he that turns away his ear from from the from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination, right? So they turn away the ear from hearing the law. The Most High God he doesn't hear them, right? But we know by keeping the law what? You get it in the Book of Revelations. First, I'm gonna go to first. First, I'm gonna go to Joshua one and eight. Salakia. Book of Joshua. Right? One and eight. Salakia. Book of Joshua chapter one and verse eight. And it reads, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right? So this book of the law shall not depart out of our mouths. Right? But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Right, we're supposed to meditate in the law, statute, commandments, and in the scriptures day and night. Right? He says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So we're supposed to observe and do according to everything that is written in the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? It says, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then and then thou shalt have good success. Right? So that's how we become prosperous by keeping the law, statute, commandments of the most high God. Right? We jump over to verse 18, he says, What? Joshua 1 and 18, whosoever he be that doeth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto thy words and all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death, only be strong and of good courage. Right? So whosoever it be that rebels against the commandments that despise the word shall be put to death. Right? According to the Heavenly Father, according to the to the um to the word. Right. Look at Hebrews 10 and 26. Real quick, look at Hebrews chapter 10 and 
10, and verse 26. And it reads, For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So we sin willfully, right? We continue to sin after we have received the truth. We receive the law, statute, commandments. We have uh, received that we are Israelites. We know that we're Israelites according to the Bible, right? And we receive the truth and knowing what is sin according to 1 John uh, 3 and 4, right? For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, right? There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. So you sin willfully, there's no more sacrifice for your sins. Meaning what? You're going to be destroyed. Right? But a, oh, verse 27. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment. So it's going to, it's a for sure, uh, it's a certain fearful looking for of judgment. Meaning what? Judgment's for sure going to come your way if you sin willfully. Right? And fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised it's so like he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses, right? So those who broke the law, they died, right? Under two or three witnesses. In verse 29, of how much more sore punishment suppose ye, ye shall be thought, like sh shall ye be thought worthy? Who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God, or hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was uh, sanctified? An unholy thing, and hath done, like it, and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, "Vengeance belongeth unto me; I will recompense," saith the Lord. Again, the Lord shall judge his people, right? So the Most High God is going to judge those people, right? That's not keeping the law, statutes, commandments. That's walking contrary. He said, it's like he said, those who broke the law of Moses, right? The law, statutes, commandments, they died under two or three witnesses. That's why he said, how much more sore punishment suppose ye, right? You're going to be punished even more, right? Because what? It says, read no, he says, shall ye be thought worthy? No. Nope. Who has trodden underfoot the Son of God, right? Because you're trodden underfoot the Son of, 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 of God, which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? He died for us, and if you continue to sin willfully, that's going off, right? The Most High God, don't, he doesn't deal with that, right? When you go to the book of Romans... Chapter 6 and verse 1. Right? He says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? So shall we continue in sin because we have grace? Verse 2, God forbid, right? God said, No. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Right? So we ain't supposed to continue in sin because we have grace, because now you've tried it underfoot. Yahweh Shai Mashiach and the most high God gonna punish you for that. Right? That's why Hebrews 10 and 31 said what? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Right? It's a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the Most High God. Right? Because what? We're going to show you. I'm going to show you. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Right? It's a fearful thing to fall in the, in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Right? To not keep the law, statutes, commandments. To try to underfoot Yahweh Shai Mashiach by sinning willfully. Right? It's a, it's a fearful thing because what? Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. Right? So the most high God, he kills and he makes alive. I wound and I heal. Right? He wounds people and he heals them. Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hand, out of my hand. So like it. So there's no one no one can deliver you out of the most high God's hand when so like it, when he's gonna bring that judgment upon you. Right? That's why it's a fearful thing. Right? Because the most high God could do anything. Right? He can injure you real bad. He can make you cripple. He can he can do anything to you. Right? He can kill you, right? He can make you suffer. He can he can destroy you. Right? That's why it's a fearful thing, right? That's why you're not supposed to sin willfully. That's why we're supposed to keep the law, statute, commandments of the most high God. Right? Book of Isaiah, chapter forty four. Like Book of Isaiah forty four. In verse, let's see. Right, well, Isaiah uh, forty four and twenty five says. I'm going to start at verse 24. It says, Thus saith the Lord, 
thy redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, and stretcheth forth the heavens alone, and spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of the liars, and maketh uh, diviners mad, and turneth the wise men backwards, and maketh their knowledge foolish. Right, because the Most High God, He can make a wise man turn. He can make a wise man backwards. Meaning what? He can, like He just said, and making their knowledge foolish. Right. So He can take that spirit from a man and make him foolish. Right. He says that confirmeth the word of His servant, that performeth the counsel of His messengers. That said to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and that like it into the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Right? So it's a terrible, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the Lord. Why? Because he can make a wise man foolish. Right? He's the one who frustrates the tokens of liars. Right? The Most High God does all things. Right? Go to the book of um, Revelations. Shalakia. Book of Revelation, chapter 22 and 14. It reads, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Right? So he says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, right? That they may have right to the tree of life, meaning what? Eternal life. Get into the kingdom of heaven. Right? And enter into the gates of the city. Right? Enter in through the gates of the city. What gates is he talking about? Revelation 21 and 12. Right? He's talking about the kingdom of heaven. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates right so the kingdom of heaven has 12 gates right and it's so like and at the gates 12 angels right and at the gates there's 12 angels and names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel right so he said blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and enter into the through the gates into the city so he's talking about the the kingdom for without right those who are without the law those who are not keeping the law statute of commandments say what for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie right so those who are not keeping the law statute of commandments will not make it to the kingdom of heaven and those who despise the word of the lord will be destroyed by the heavenly father thus saith the lord right but lord willing this video was edifying for the next video shalom